Let's get to the news in our top story this morning. New details in a story we've been following very closely here at KSAT. San Antonio police are hoping a woman who had they have in custody will shed some new light on the disappearance of that eight month old San Antonio boy King J. After launching a search for the possible witness, police announced last night they tracked down 24 year old Savannah Ozuna. Katrina Weber has been looking into her background and joined us live right now from Public Safety Headquarters. Katrina, good morning. You say she's someone who's been in police custody before. Good morning. That's right. Records show that she does have a criminal record, but police are hoping right now that she will help them solve another crime. But yesterday, they tweeted out a photo of Savannah Osuna, who turns 25 next week, asking for the public's help in finding her. By late last night, they had taken her into custody. Police say they are not releasing any more information about her, only saying she may know something about the case. Now, we did find out some things about her on our own, such as the fact that she does have a criminal record. Asuna was arrested in 2011 on a theft charge. She received six months probation and a fine for that. Then last October, she was back in jail on a charge of possession of marijuana. Records show she's still awaiting indictment. Police are not calling her a suspect in the King J case. Again, they say she is a possible witness. Now, since the eight months old disappearance, police have taken his father into custody, Christopher Davila, as well as another relative. The case initially was reported as a kidnapping last Friday, but police now say that that was staged as a cover up for foul play. There still is no sign of King J. Davila. Reporting live at Public Safety Headquarters, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.